Windows were broken, doors torn down, but the worst damage to a home in Haslett may be the damage that you can't see. Jason Allen is live in Haslett this afternoon. And Jason, you can't see it, but you know it's there, right? What's going on? Ken, Ken you, you know it when you start to feel it kind of just catch right here in the back of your throat, and then it starts to burn, and then it forces a cough, and then a sneeze. And it is all from the gas that was fired into this house back here from SWAT teams, which you could still, we could still feel out here today, even this far away from this house. The Tarrant County Sheriff's Office, they told us yesterday they fired, they fired about 100 gas canisters into the house during a standoff. They were trying to get Jose Lomelli Jr. to come out. Now, he didn't live here. He just ran inside. But now the owner of the house, he can't live here either because it isn't just the broken windows. It is all of that gas residue that he said now covers everything inside. So his clothes, his furniture, the walls, his truck, it's all got to go. And even the work crews who were boarding up the windows today, they had a hard time getting that work done. You know, the, <clears throat> the tear gas hit the windshields and then it got on the bushes and we're over here working with the wind blowing and everything. And it's hard to work like that. Every window we go into, we got to just jump out and get some air and get some water. And they were struggling today, and the owner is still struggling to figure out now who is going to pay for all of those repairs, insurance or the county. We, we asked about that question. We'll have more in a report coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in Haslett, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.